Welcome to our lecture online. Here we're going to define what a perimeter is and what the area is of a polygon. In particular, we're going to be using it for some uh, what we call quadrilaterals, polygons with four sides, and triangles, polygons with three sides. Now, the perimeter, what does that word mean? Well, peri means along the sides, and meter means to measure. So we're measuring the length along the sides of a polygon. Simply, we're going to add the length of each of the sides, add it together, and that's what's called the perimeter of a polygon, or in this case, a quadrilateral or a triangle. We're also going to calculate the area. The area is basically, if we're talking about a rectangle or a square, we're talking about the product of the one side with the, with the other side. For example, the short side and the long side, since these are congruent sides, if we multiply the length of this side times the length of this side, we end up with the area of the figure, the area of the polygon. In the case of the what we call a square, since all the sides have the same length, we can simply multiply the side times the side or the side squared to get the area. But to find the area for a triangle, it's a little bit different, and we'll show you how to do that in just a moment. So first, let's find the perimeter of each of these figures. You can see here that this side is 12 centimeters long, this side is 20 centimeters long, and since these two opposing sides are congruent and these two opposing sides are congruent, that means this side is 12 centimeters as well, and this side is 20 centimeters. So therefore, the perimeter P is simply equal to the sum of all of them, so we can say 20 centimeters plus 20 centimeters plus 12 centimeters plus 12 centimeters. And when we add all that together, that's 40, 52, 64, that's 64 centimeters. Or we can say it's two times the width plus two times the length. So this would be two times 12 centimeters. Width is associated with the shortest of the two sides plus two times the length, which is 20 centimeters, that's 40 plus uh, 24, that would be equal to 64 centimeters. So that's how we find the perimeter of a rectangle. For its square, it's a little bit easier because all the sides have the same length. So we can say that the perimeter is simply equal to 8 centimeters plus 8 centimeters plus 8 centimeters plus 8 centimeters, or, well, let's say that's equal to, I'm running out of room here, that would be uh, 16, that would be 32 centimeters, like that. Or we could say that it's equal to four times the length of each side, which is four times eight centimeters, which is also 32 centimeters. So that's how we find the perimeter. A triangle, it's no different, although we only have three sides here. Since all three sides are different in length, we could say the perimeter is simply the sum of the three sides, which is 30 centimeters plus 40 centimeters plus 50 centimeters, that's 90 plus 20, that's 120 centimeters. And here again, if you want to know the, um, the perimeter here, notice that these have indications that those two are, sides are congruent, they're the same length, so we can say that this is 15 centimeters as well. The long side here is, oh, not centimeters, this is meters. Okay, let's convert to meters. And here this long side is 24 meters, so the perimeter is equal to the sum, just like before, 15 centimeters plus 15 centimeters plus 24. I keep calling them centimeters, don't I? Let's call them meters. There we go, 24 meters. And so that's 30 plus 24, that's 54 meters here. And even though this triangle seems a little strange, we can simply say that this length here, this side is 17 meters long, 9 meters long, and 10 meters long, so the perimeter is equal to 17 meters plus 9 meters plus 10 meters. So that would be uh, 36. Perimeter is equal to 36 meters. And that's how we find the perimeter of these five polygons or these five shapes.